Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to another reading, another video. So in today's reading, we're going to continue into 2023 line readings. That is going to be for our queen, Selena Gomez. So you know that I always love to do her reading. It's been a while, it's been a hot minute. So let's just go ahead into it and hoping you guys are doing amazing and hoping you will like this. All right. So we're going to starting off with her career and financial. Let's see about it. We're going to starting off with the energetically prospered, how it will be energetically for Selena Gomez 2023. Career, financial, job wise, the emperor. She, she already got a schedule for it, right? I think this is gonna be very similar from 2022. It's just bigger, you know, because I do, rem I still remember. I'm not really good. I have a very short term memories, um, but I remember the feeling of calling something like that. We also have the queen of, yeah, we love to see it on her. We love to see it as she should. But on deck, we have is a page of wands. Yes, you know, she got a lot of um, things figured out already. And I think this is gonna be the easier kind of year for her because I think she's just kind of maintaining balance and kind of, kind of like, you know, let's see what I have to grow, you know, out of this, what I have to see, you know, kind of like combination for what I do right now, kind of a combination of a product, right? Or kind of like combination of film and here, what kind of scripts and that. So I don't think there's that rough of patch patches because we're seeing in 2022, um, the 2020 until the 2022 is just has been a very, very tough year for her. And I think she's just so resilient and very strong, you know, to be standing till this day, just inspiring us and, and motivate, you know, motivate us and just, you know, being the best person ever so what i see in here maybe there are a lot more meet and greet with friends energetically she's just want to connect more i think to just talk about it more so perhaps you will see her kind of like spoke you know become a spoke person somewhere become a speak speak person somewhere ted talk kind of way but i do see I, yeah i just do see her kind of like wanted to inspire more people and i think this is her this is her taking this as her job kind of like i want to kind of like lifting up this mood of humanity i want to lift out you know each other's uh, you know mood for the day and you know if i can do like one person good I, i'll do it you know i'll do it every time over and over so i think you know it's just her being very very generous and her her feelings is just um she's not focusing as much on her since i think whatever she does it's always related to people somehow right so it's just like if i can do good for people uh, well I, i'll do good for myself too so there's that that's just it you know her mood feelings for the 2023 um careers just like i want to you know give the best i can and of course you know kind of like growing my career but like what's more to grow in here i'll do it but it's just maintaining balance so far the emperor specialist is the um number four from major arcana they're very logic they're very organized and i think they just like i mentioned she got her schedules ready for 2023 and i think she's ready flipping through it as we speak right now just kind of like okay that's what we have okay it's just like i'm intrigued you know and i'm intrigued but let's see what's going on so i think she's just not rushing and not being crazy about it but she's still very much enjoying it that's a feeling it said logic and organization will increase your success take charge in the situation accept a leadership role structure and discipline exactly yeah so i think it's just her maintaining the balance maintaining the um, yeah structure in her life just maintaining the organization as it is and just follow the schedule literally you know like i don't have she she's just like i'm not worried anymore i don't worry anymore i'm gonna focus on myself and focus on my you know love life focus on my um family home life because my prediction said <laughs> i still remember 2022 is gonna be the time for her meeting the one not necessarily dating or even have a feeling that it will date but i think this is her meeting the one so 2023 i think gotta be focused on love so um let's just see what's going on in career then um for energetically again we have the queen of pentacles as energy and queen of pentacles is very balanced you guys they're very grounded and they're very guarded they're just you know a storyteller right they're just the one the mother earth you know take care of the family take care you know and, and kind of responsible in a way so i think she's just good her staff like she has nothing like to worry about especially for the things around her the environment she's just like you know it's good for me then let's do it you know so so she's just very trusting and very open with experiences so yeah this is gonna be a good year for her very very good year i can feel by energetic only um and also yes look at this we have the page of wands and followed by the king of um Penango. so i think that might be um she will spend more time you know maybe kind of like to talk and work you know with the, with the people that she always love to work with i think this is a very good time for a reunion too but we're gonna see that in uh, what's in store more it's that enthusiastic optimistic creative impatient news is exciting opportunities yeah so the page of um 
once. Uh, well, they're essentially is a, like a traveler kind of like adventure kind of card, but I think it just indicates that this is since this is the center of the energy, she's kind of like, you know, she's just very enjoying where she at right now and try to live every single moment of it. So it's just like, you know, I have nothing to worry about and I'm really trying to ease my anxiety over here. You try trying to ease whatever it is that in my mind and I'm just trying to do my freaking best. So, you know, she's just like having that thick of a wall that's what i'm you know hearing from spirit somehow so all right let's see next then please spirits we're gonna pull the cards for what's in store please spirit what's in store for her career and financial four cards so we're gonna see kind of like what about to happen right so it's not her approach it's not her reaction and how she gonna do it but like what's the context in here ace of cups yes just kind of like more mental awareness perhaps in here and more content rare beauty film movie i do see she's dropping maybe a couple of um singles perhaps because in 2022 she's yeah she's dropping a few albums a few singles but like not the whole of it but i think 2023 is just like her being creative again in music kind of like wanting to do make a big comeback because she's she doesn't really promote her music you know that's what i you know paying attention about lately um yeah we have this the moon in here this is the card that is ruled by scorpio i don't think selena's having moon in scorpio yeah i think she got the moon in aries or her extended in aries i literally forgot but she's a cancer and this card is just suits well with her let's do one more once in store yeah three of pentacles we love to see that so we have the five of swords so there's a little bit of a turbulence that we have to talk about that is there in a guards bottom deck we have is a strength card which is very good so it's it's again you know being resilient and very strong and she's just showing it to the world and trying to make a, the best example out of it she's just trying her best you know like that's what's in store from her perspective but what actually about to happen in here is just number one we have ace of cups so i think this is just something that that is completely her you know her love is just poured in here so it might be writing a book it maybe she's um kind of like having this photo shoot with um magazines magazine cover right and just kind of like um spreading the mental awareness again physical beauty awareness you know no standards kind of like awareness so i think it's just her talking and doing something that she always loved uplifting the humanity and doing her good doing the best out of everything out of single thing that she's doing in her life so that's what i see and we have the moon so the moon's kind of like discrecy kind of like a little bit of a rumor in here so perhaps there's something that she's kind of like keeping things under wrap or maybe she's just not ready to expose it number one or um it's just a complete secret for her but i think it's got exposed that's why it leads us into the five of swords so what's in store probably not as like smooth as we like it to be because let's just be honest right every time of the year there's the time when everything turned into fudge right turned into something that is just we don't like to see it we don't want to see it but it happened anyway because that's just life right it's up and down and you know you know there, there is a beauty on it but there's also the darkness of it it's like yin and, yin and yang right if only the good we feel it's not life if only the bad of it it's hell it's not life but you know bad and good that's life we call it life so i think um maybe there's this allegations again you know coming from another celebrity throwing shade said her i do see um some people kind of like just envious and yeah you know literally jealous of her so throwing shades again i'm just so done with this like canceling throwing shades kind of way so i do see that since also she's i will predict her returning to music very much in 2023 she's, since i think 2022 she's this year right she's really focused about just um yeah manifesting her dreams into other things and other compartment in her in her life but she always comes back to music because that's her love too right she's, she's pouring her heart into that we hope that so um but yes you know i do see her um trying to just um ignore the criticism because i don't know why but you know people just love to critics you know love to give criticism so i think she's trying her best to ignore it so there's that kind of fight we see but i think she'll very much shining you know and and in light bulb literally 2023 i think there's just something a lot of hot news about her well, you'll probably see her in a lot of like you know uh, in a magazine somehow and that's what i see and also we have the three of pentacles of collaborations maybe about you know movie club you know oh jesus what's that called um collaboration um yeah movie collaboration maybe music collaboration or maybe a direct a movie or somehow what i see in here or maybe like a featuring magazine i just did see her connecting with more people maybe people that come coming from her past so it could be the Lovato, it could be miley cyrus right i'm um, from her disney time but it could be also the time when she is doing the movie Mon monte carlo right um cinderella, cinderella sorry if i'm correct about it literally forgot but um i 
I think she's just revisiting a lot of the childhood dreams, you know, a lot of things that happened in her childhood, just kind of like, you know, looking at it and appreciate it and just, you know, trying her best to just let's see about a positive side, like what I can encourage people from looking at this, you know, from doing this. So I think she just makes sure every step of the way that I can affect someone, you know. So I think just, I, I do see just busyness of, of this, you know, coming to her. So yeah, maybe like some friend kind of like um, jealous of that, maybe just um, the closest of her friend, she's just you know devastated over over that but i think we're gonna see that more into love and romance but it's affect her career somehow okay all right then so we're gonna see about her approach to this so i think i'm gonna do yeah and just give it a go from the same deck because we're still in the same context please spirits how is her approach to these contacts please spirits we have the ten of pentacles see she's kind of she wants you know she's a peacekeeper she's a peacemaker like everything whatever it is like i you know i do remember somewhere maybe a tweet or somehow that it that just appeared in my explorer side that Selena gomez doesn't have doesn't have an inch of evil in her soul and i think i can be fully agree with that i mean we all got our you know got our own demons but i think she's successfully turning the demons all into angels let's just put it that way okay we have the magician so it's her reaction the way she approached things look at this this is like one to maintaining peace you know whatever it is the good for people i think uh, i mean and a lot of times and a lot of arguments i think she often have this strategy or not even strategy you know approach that she's taking her out of context it's just like you know sometimes um you know i don't have to be included in narrative and i can still help somehow okay so she's speaking out her you know Battles, I can see that in here. Bottom deck we have is the Ace of Wands. So I think this is just it. As simple as this. If this is, it requires my intention, sure. You know, my, my attention, sure. I'll give it to them. If this is something that relates to my career, sure. I'll give a comment to that. But somehow, if you ruin something for nothing, I'll literally do something to just clarify, clarify it or give a clarification or just straighten things out. But if that's not working, I don't care about it. So literally that. So she's really picking out her battles and she wants a happy life, right? She just wants to be left alone and, and just doing the best as, her, as she can. She wants to encourage people and not being involved in this non-stop drama. I think that's just it. That's what she wants. And she wants to make a career that based on her, that when people you know kind of like mention her she's not only always related or you know tied to someone like she's in her own person and she can speak for her own self and she got a lot of so many multiple multi-billionaire <laughs> achievement that we cannot even count okay so let's just appreciate her for who she is you know so so i think it's just this you know her approach is like you know i just want to encourage people to just mind in their own goddamn business literally that Okay, so we have the magician in here. So you'll see her, you know, tapping into her higher power in this time. Like probably some of you ask, like, how can a person tap into like more power like her? But yes, we can always grow. There's always room for improvement and growth. And I think she's really um, exposed it to us. Just kind of like this is my progress and, and this is my thing. And this is how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it. And, you know, she's sharing a lot of part of her life that just like, this is it. You know, like, this is the truth. And I hope you can take something from it. So she's taking a moderate, you know, a very different, un unconventional approach, I think, to just, you know, um, kind of like filling out the gap or just, yeah, um, making a piece out of something. I think, yeah, her approach is definitely different um, from the last time. She's just being more direct and straightforward about things, but without drama in here, okay? So she's very, like, everybody who wants to make a deal or kind of, like, mess with her in 2023, I don't think this is going to be a good time because she will fight back. That's what I see. We have the two of pentacles, so maintaining the balance. So like I mentioned, I think maybe she's hiring a person like the speak person or just to kind of like a person who will, who will answer every single question, you know? I think probably later the time when she's also not gonna be in the social media for a while. Not saying she will be deleting it or not, you know, not posting, but but I think she's just taking a break from that because I don't care because like you know this is not good for me anymore. And you know, one thing that if people know about anxiety and depression, because I I you know. Selena Gomez has been like such a big role model for me because I also, you know, I'm I'm coming from that background, press, anxious all the time, and you know, one thing is that 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 is not a habit that we want, you know, to fall back into the same routine over and over. But somehow that's just how we do it, you know. Somehow um, that's just you know by default, you know, we're just too sensitive. She's too sensitive, and I think there are the times when she's just like, okay, I don't want to deal with this right now. So there's this approach. But yes, she's really picking out her battle very, very wisely. It's just like this is not requires my attention. I don't care about that. I don't give a damn about that. So that's very good. Splendid deck. We have the King of Swords. So King of Swords here is all about. Um, 
yeah, it's just her, I think, being very smart and very straightforward and picky about the battles that she's in and who's to talk to talk to and trusting people. That's what I see. So let's see for the next. We're gonna see about the opportunity. Let's see about it. Please, parents, about opportunity. Two cards in here. Perhaps more opportunity for a career and financial, whatever it is that we can find. So we have the Knight of Wands. So probably, like I mentioned, to spread more in here and to kind of like grow more in a way of a variation and kind of like a range of sounds and rhythm that she's um including in her albums probably next time and also we have the ace of cups yeah i think to just fall in love again with the things that she she did you know so maybe like yeah before before like she, she already falling off with it but the passion is not there but i think she will she will regain those passion to you know i'm um, acting again you know and and kind of like just to come back to music and making a bop again like you know same of love hands to myself right and those era i mean things are just different of course but i think you know they're just a time when um an artist right you know taking the time for themselves and just you know to regain those composure to regain those creativity and all of that and once once they're ready they're gonna you know blew it to us you know they're literally giving all the content so that's what i see especially with the ace of cups you know falling in love again with things that she do and i don't think she's that person you know she's multi-talented but i don't think you know like a lot of things will be too much for her so i think she's just focusing on intensifying the things that she's doing right now and also we have the fool by the end of the the bottom of the deck in here so it's just like her setting herself free so there is also that possibility kind of like not really uh, stiff you know about her movement about something that she will she, she want to cover she want to do i think she's just beat out the allegations that you know like something limits you know like a limited somehow we're limitless we have our, our powers limitless and i think she's just like i mentioned um approaching a different um higher energy in here okay just her tapping into her power energy her higher energy clear spirits i'm gonna pull two cards for the outcome okay career financial we have ego which is a devil card it said the illusion of being trapped okay let's see one more what's okay i bet this is gonna be very liberating let's see one more look at this transformation card right this is the death card i do believe yeah if a significant life changes experience that requires changes to be made powerful and often unexpected revelations breaking free from procrastination releasing our old belief system yeah so i think you know with this card together i think those entrapment is just like she, she she's over it you know she's over it this is not good for me anymore and i want to left that and this is not a part of my life anymore so i think she's just moving on transforming so that's going to be the outcome and you'll see her not become like the old seal now again um she will like create like her new version that just you know a combination of all very very balanced and maintained and very um guarded and very grounded in so many ways possible but on deck we have the, the ten of one so yes there's a sense of a little bit overworking in here but you know what's in like almost without overworking she's always overworking i think so yeah um that's gonna be it for the career we're gonna move on into the love so see you in a bit and yeah all right let's see about love and romance those two cards spirits for the energy for love and romance two cards so let's see about it we have a seven of thought oh who could have thought we have the seven of thought let's see one more and we have the nine of emotion of course we have that but i'm like we have the five of action yeah so i think she's really focusing her, her feelings in here and yeah really directing her focus in here bottom deck center of the energy we have the five of action so i think she just felt like everything is, has been a mess lately and just you know things need to be more organized you know and and one thing about love though it's hard to be organized and love is hard to be organized in romance so i think she's just like oh my god you know my boat is sinking so, you know it's a little bit everywhere it's a little bit shaky so i think she's a little bit ner nervous about the next step that she's she will take when it comes to love and romance but again you know, it's just the energy right sometimes we, our energy is not actually what will happen because energy coming from the inside right and that's an internal battle the things that happen inside us and sometimes what actually happened is coming from the universe and it's just you know sometimes also the things you know and and things also happen only in our head so there's that perspective so i think but she's very very nervous and just kind of like my god i just wish everything will be good you know and I wish I could manifest all the things that I want and fulfill every my every dreams that I have in here and I'm not running out of the time. That's so that's the feeling I have, you know, for her in here. You know, the feeling I get. So yeah, the seventh thought, the first card we had in set it said in here, you've been confused about the situation for your in your life and now suddenly everything isn't completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend, or covered on your own, it felt great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for a time alone if that's what you need. Yeah. So I think it's just, you know, taking the space the space if you need 
hate it and I think her, her, her she's just a little bit you know coming from shock for everything that happened in here is just a little bit overwhelming for her especially how the 2022 gonna end perhaps it's just like oh my god you're like is this is this the right thing that i'm doing you know kind of like am i with the right person you know it's just kind of like constantly contemplating and doubting yourself like i mentioned right we're, we're never be perfect and and we always somehow you know repeating those cycles of doubts and just that's just how alive it is if we are sure about anything like we're not human you know you're not human if you do that okay so yeah we have the nine of motion coming right here. It said, this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and, and dreams come true. It might seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just your reward from being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have fun. Yeah, so I think she's just, uh, you know, a little bit, I mean, two sides. And also this is a long, you know, long time of the year. And this is full year. So I think there are the months where she felt very, really down and very anxious and kind of like constantly looking after her shoulders. Like, am I doing the right thing? And constantly doubting herself but i think there are times when she's just super confident and just trying to enjoy her life and ease her pain like ease her anxiety something like that in here but i think you know i'll be good you know i'll be good i promise you i'll be good for her so let's see what's in store then let's see about it okay all right please birds gonna pull what's in store four cards for Selena Gomez for the environment wise and here what's in store environment wise environment wise for her love and romance we have the fourth one see kind of like a happy time with the family happy time with friends happy time with the loved ones with the special ones with the inner circle let's see three more we have the six of wands see even i'm just like so aggressive you know i'm pulling these cards right here i just feel it in myself somehow two of cups look at that look at that beauty this is the time of love for her this is a very wonderful time it's just she want to be happy she get those happiness and imagine see here's the thing right she's been through hell and back you know she's she's just poof, very very strong and just going through so much for a person to take only one person to take but on bottom like we have the six of cups in here so 100 is going to be love you know and and sometimes when you're spoiled with this good and, and happiness and just constantly repeatedly good things in life you know if you're used to with bad things and the challenges you often wonder to yourself and consider and and take this into your account when it will be repeated again when i will be back into those routinity you know into those routine into those darkness again so when she's spoiled with this happiness with this non-stop overwhelming feeling she's scared about it scared about how i'm gonna do it scared about if this is gonna be the end of everything or scared of like you know what if i lose this you know so there's a part of her that are like that is like that and she's also a person coming with a lot of trauma in her just a lot of like i mentioned you know she's been through hell and back and i think you know to be faced with this very very happy momentum in her life she's just very very overwhelmed and a little bit everywhere when it comes to feelings so that's why you know like she wants to keep things organized and as guarded and as grand as she can but sometimes it's just like that there is no such thing we're like water when we're feelings right that's why the cups card often symbolize feelings and heart because you know it's a vessel you know and inside of it is water and water we cannot control they're just following whatever it is around them they're following the environment they're shift shift thing right and that's just how our feelings we cannot control our feelings and they're just happen like that we just you know the, the, something that we can control is how we respond to that okay so the first card we have is a four of wands so four of wands is all about just yeah happiness happy time in here possibly attending a lot of marriage you know like i mentioned um having a lot of reunion with friends having a lot of gathering with family and just the family around her and and just the friends around her just a very inner circle type in here type of card and then the next we have the six of wands the six of wands is like a warrior kind of card um you know kind of like i'm going after something that i want something that is good for me so i think this is her kind of like choosing the destiny for her to pick her own destiny kind of like to writing her own destiny just kind of like i want to you know make sure it is good i want to make sure it is right you know and i want to make sure that i'm not doing it bad i'm gonna do it right so i think there is that um you know for me environment wise also because she's you know coming from virgin family right she's coming from virgin family so i think there's just a lot of things that she take into account and i want to do it good you know for whoever this person might be she want to make the most out of it spending quality time and not kind of like 
like you know lowering her standards but at the same time maintaining balance to everything so this is a hard thing you know as a person you know to for one person's sake it is a hard thing to balance you know between the two aspects in your life love and career and then also we have the two of cups so yes you know probably get a dating obviously and we see dating going on and here six of cups coming again so yeah you know it's just like the people that she met the people that she encountered throughout their life throughout the 2023 i think just the, the, the people that destined to be there for her you know in her life for a very long time so if you see selena kind of like spotted you know hanging out with this person that you haven't really know like she's actually hanging out with this person i think she'll be there in her life like for a very very long time so if you see let's see let's be let's tell maybe sabrina carpenter right with um selena and you see, you'll see sabrina like all over you know her selena's life just be there besides her and talking about things and become best friend you know so you'll see a lot of um canon for the future type of relationship being made in this time for her and this is just a happy time you know like we have seven of one so it's just like she's also working on herself a lot and and more than ever i think she's putting the efforts and just you know because like i want to do it good you know i have this feelings even though at the very beginning it's very overwhelming but i want to do it good and i want to take this into account and i will like you know i will not gonna just wasting this change chance right away i want to i want to pet it you know that's what i'm hearing in my head i just i want to do it good so you know i'll be grateful about it and i'll do most of my time just trying to pay the universe just you know for what i receive so i think yeah and in this time also she, she'll finally understand that life happening not for you you know but also but but life is happening to you you know so it's like you know at least you're expecting it and and the more afraid you're you're with something sometimes it is when the universe is really dropping you know those um signal to you like it's the time for you finally you know so be ready so you know something like that in here all right so let's see then we're gonna pull the cards for the dating opportunity let's see about it please birds gonna pull three cards dating opportunity for selena gomez please birds okay okay we got a lot i don't want to pull that card i don't feel it is the correct one three cards okay yeah five so five of pentacles right at the very beginning she's just like um oh my god you know like you know i don't know what to do but let, let's see let's see two more we have the hanged man see you know dating opportunity in here let's see this spirit about dating life perhaps rather than opportunity because i see the, the box already checked you know and the nine of wands so yeah i love to see that we have the nine of pentacles too in here yeah so i think she keep things under wrap mostly but yeah i think she's also just yes yeah, she's falling in love you know she's with a person you know probably they they kind of like you know confidence to take into the next step perhaps in here but what i see with the ten of swords she's in transition when it comes to dating stuff when it comes to this romantic just very serious time she's she just wants to take her time and and just you know kind of like adjusting you know for whatever it is that she has right now and to, you know the five of pentacles especially kind of like it's been there all along the answer is right there the person's right there but she's kind of like a little bit hesitant to approach that just a little bit like okay am i actually ready for this so i think there is the time you know a good like a chunk amount of time when she spent just like okay am i actually ready for this like big of a commitment but i think if, you know because we have this change of perspective we have the hanged man so it might be happened let's see i'm just gonna predict it around april May maybe she's a little bit like they're having this change of perspective and then there we go we have the um boom we have the nine of wands when she's kind of like you know what you know you know well you never do it you never know unless you do it you know so it's kind of like that um risk taker kind of card that's why also we have these single ladies you know kind of like independent loyalty liberty kind of card we have the nine of pentacles so just like let's just do it you know, let's just give it a chance so i think um and she's not like casually dating i don't think she's the, the type of person but um it's just like um her opening her heart you know to everything like every possibilities in here because you you never know unless you know you, even when you are married you never really know when it's gonna last forever right there's always those doubts creeping in even just a sec there is always there but but i think she's just like you know what you know a lot of people figure out things as they go and why not i'm doing that too and we have the three of pentacles yeah and i think they have you know she will have this back with the loved one that just we're doing it together and no one's being left out in here we're doing this together see we have the string card and we have bottom deck the ace of cups so just like you know you, just like the good old time you know like um 
we're gonna get her on these things we're gonna get her on on working on our feelings we're gonna get her and working on our life so i think the one will definitely giving her this sense like you're not alone like you know you will you know take me into the account because that's what we have you know you're you you do not have to go through everything alone i'll be with you every single of the way so there's that insurance coming from the one this is just very sweet this reading okay i just can hold it it's just very sweet okay let's take this first we're gonna pull two cards about the outcome please birds two cards you guys if you'd like to book a reading hear me out link in the description okay just click it right away 2023 reading the one love reading i'll be more than happy to guide you every single of the way so let's take this bird two cards about the outcome person and gomez so check it out okay change your perspective see we have to see clearly in here you know different perspective kind of card let's see one more Yes, and healer of action in here. So the healer of, ac of action is, let's see. Um, yeah, this is the Queen of Wands card. I love to see it. It's said in here. It's something to view things from a different perspective. You have to do. Um, you have the blessed gift to see past current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry. The power and the momentum. While you rethink your plan one last, embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Yeah. So I think it just it, ch it changed the perspective, right? We all, we, we all need, I think, you know, some that kind of break, for, you know, from from what actually happened and just be there with our feelings and trying to figure out things. And it's said in here healer of action to the time when you can do whatever you want to if you set your mind um to i'm sorry this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open you're being asked to do so many things at once you won't mind as long as you you know you're making difference this card indicates someone who's loving intelligent passionate and fun which could definitely describe you this person can handle difficult situation with grace yeah i think she's just learning through again with grace learning through as she goes and you know this change of perspective that just you know um, I think she just get used to do things, uh, you know, everything alone and having the answers, you know, that she seeks, she seeks alone. And it's just a little bit risky, I think, for her to, to just, you know, give me like 50% of a chance, you know, like the, 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 um, the power and the control to a person too. But that's just how relationship is. You know, it, it goes both ways and trust goes both ways and we're doing it together. So there's that. And then we have the eight of emotion and at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, eight of actions kind of like... Um, uh, yeah, kind of like saying goodbye to the old habits. So I think this is for her just to kind of like reading closure with her old self kind of like, well, you know what, you know, it's not happening anymore. And you know, this is a different time. This is a different season and we're going to do different, you know, so there is that. All right, let's see then we're going to pull two cards about the biggest difference in here. 2022 to 2023 i'm gonna and we're gonna end the end the reading and you guys right if you'd like to book a reading link in the description okay all right all righty let's see please friends so we're gonna pull two cards for uh, the first card we're gonna pull for 2023 the biggest difference so we have in here is a knight of wands okay let's see what's up in 2023 for her it's a d7 of cups yeah so i think there's just a sense of longing by the end of also we have d2 of cups right i think before she's really like navigate na navigating <laughs> navigating all of her focus into her career financial stuff and job stuff so she doesn't really like really focus like she she i think 2022 is never her target to really find the love of her life but 2023 just hits different that relates to so much of her vulnerability relates so much to you know a lot of her depth you know when it comes to feelings and it's just the surface you know like underneath the surface there are so many things that 2023 bring and this is just more spiritual and more more deep i think you know like it's just deeper for her and it's just hits different before we're on a rough surface right we're just only at the sand when we're in a beach but you're in a sea already when you know in, in 2023 so i think that's just the biggest difference and of course the two of cups the soulmate the person the one okay so that's the biggest difference so yeah um you guys that's gonna be it for the reading um um consider to give this reading a subscribe uh, this channel subscribe and this reading a big thumbs up and also comment with a nice comment below thank you so much you guys for being here and sending a lot of love to all of you sending a lot of love to selena um she deserves all of the things all of the good things in the world and i fancy her everybody fancies her and yeah um, do the best uh, for all of you guys and have a very good day, nice week, and also God bless you. Um, hoping I'll see you in the next reading, and bye for now.